Yemeni TV says Saudi Arabia has violated its self-declared ceasefire in Yemen by bombing different areas across the southern province of Aden. Saudi Arabia has already violated several UN-brokered ceasefires. Nearly 4,900 people have been killed since Riyadh launched its military campaign against Yemen on March the 26th. Turkey has shelled a Kurdish-held village in the northern Syrian province of Aleppo. Tanks heavily pounded the village of Zurmagar overnight. Several people were injured. The Turkish army later carried out a second round of shelling against Zurmagar and another village in the same area. The Guardian has quoted an unnamed Western official as saying that a direct link between Turkish officials and ISIL terrorists is undeniable. The source said that the evidence was gathered following a U.S. commando raid on an ISIL compound in Syria in May. A Palestinian man has been killed as Israeli forces raided the Qalandia refugee camp in the occupied West Bank. Israeli troops were trying to arrest the man. The refugee camp is located near the city of Ramallah. Spain's capital, Madrid, is set to host a UN-sponsored meeting on terrorism and extremism. The two-day event will be attended by more than 200 experts from 70 countries. Participants will discuss ways to prevent extremists from leaving their countries to join the ISIL Takfiri group abroad. Gunfire at a wedding party in Afghanistan's Baghlan province has claimed the lives of at least 21 people. Ten others were injured. Clashes began after armed men traded verbal barbs. An official delegation has been sent to the province to investigate that incident. A study conducted by the think tank Runnymede Trust shows that blacks and minority ethnic Britons are about twice as likely to get poorer than their white counterparts because of the UK's new budget. It warns that child poverty rates among minority ethnic groups may rise even more after the 2015 budget.